Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tree Hugger Didi, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a product review of the Magic Bullet Mini Juicer. The Magic Bullet Mini Juicer is a centrifugal juicer, and later in this video, I'll get into the details of what is the difference between a centrifugal juicer versus a masticating juicer versus a press juicer. Um, there are a lot of differences there, and depending on what you're juicing, you may need to use one or the other. So we'll talk a little bit about that and I'll give y'all my honest thoughts on the quality of this juicer. In my daily life, I tend to use a masticating juicer and you'll see that's the one that I use in some of my other videos. So we can do some comparisons there between the two juicers. And I'll also share with y'all my thoughts around what are the pros and cons of a centrifugal juicer. If you have any other questions that aren't addressed in this video, please comment below, I'd be happy to answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So what is a centrifugal juicer? Well, unlike a masticating or a press juicer, a centrifugal juicer uses something called an auger that essentially chews up the produce and then strains it out to produce juice. Because of the process that's used to grind up the produce, a centrifugal juicer is gonna be better for fruits and vegetables that tend to be firmer and more fibrous like beets or carrots. Some of the other pros are that centrifugal juicers tend to be more widely available, making them lower cost. And in my opinion, they tend to be easier to clean than something like a masticating juicer. Let's get into some of the cons of a centrifugal juicer. So because of that auger mechanism, which spins around and really grinds the produce down into a pulp, this type of juicer is going to be much noisier than something like a masticating or a press juicer. In addition to that, that auger mechanism is going to be able to extract less juice out of your produce than something like a masticating or a cold press. And finally, due to that spinning mechanism, this type of juicer is going to have more heat in the process of extracting the juice, which means your juice is gonna be more oxidated, which can ultimately affect its color, taste, and overall longevity. Like I said before, this is my first time using the Magic Bullet Mini Juicer, so the pros and cons I'm gonna share now are really just my initial impressions of this juicer. First things first, let's get into the pros. Off the bat, I love that this juicer has suction cups at the bottom. Like I said, that auger mechanism is really gonna spin around and create a, a good bit of movement in that extraction process. So having suction cups ensures that your juicer is gonna stay grounded in place. And that to me is a pro because my last centrifugal juicer did not have suction cups and it's just kind of annoying having to hold your juicer in place the whole time. In addition, like I said, this is the mini Magic Bullet juicer. So off the bat, it's just gonna be an easier and quicker cleanup process. It also comes with this little brush um, that is multi-purpose. You can see we have larger bristles here. And we have more narrow bristles here so that you can really get into the grooves and make sure you're cleaning all of the pulp out of your juicer. And last but not least, this juicer has a very sizable pulp catcher, meaning that as you're juicing, you're not gonna have to stop as often to empty out that pulp. Like I said, I have not used this product just yet, so these are my initial reactions to it. But one of the cons that comes to mind is that this product does not come with a juice catcher. Not that big of a deal. You can use something like a measuring cup or a glass at home and just place it beneath the spout. But if you are looking for the complete package, then you may wanna consider that if you're thinking about purchasing the Magic Bullet Mini Juicer. And lastly, we're just gonna break apart this juicer very quickly and look at all of the components that come with it. So here we have a food pusher. The food pusher slides directly into the chute and the chute is about two inches. So you can fit a good bit of produce in there, though not as much as of course, a full size juicer would be able to hold. This juicer also comes with two locking arms, uh, which is going to keep the juice bowl in place as the steel sieve is spinning around. And as I already mentioned, we have the pulp catcher in the bag. This is a pretty sizable pulp catcher, and that's just gonna make for a more efficient juicing process overall. Here we have a silicone spout cap. Um, you can turn it up to prevent any dripping of the juice as you're taking a pause in your juicing process. For example, if you need to empty out your juice catcher. Um, and then when you're ready to continue juicing, you just slide it on back down. So that's pretty convenient. I've also seen centrifugal juicers that come with a cap. So really just a matter of preference there. Um, again, I haven't used this just yet, but I imagine both would work pretty seamlessly. All right, y'all, so I did go ahead and actually run some produce through my juicer. Here I have a blend of carrot, lemon, orange, and ginger. 
As you can see, this juice does have quite a bit of foam in it, which is to be expected when you're using a centrifugal juicer because of that oxidative process. One key takeaway after using the Magic Bullet Mini Juicer is that you wanna be mindful of your portions. I did have quite a bit of produce that I was attempting to run through and just kind of make in batches, but I did learn that that juicer um, is exactly what it says. It's for many amounts of juice. Um, so just be mindful that you're not putting too much produce in at once, even if you are, processing the produce in batches because um, as what happened to me, the juicer did overheat and I had to put it to the side to let it cool off for a bit um, before continuing with my juice. So just be mindful of that if you do decide to purchase and use this juicer for any recipes that you might make. That concludes our product review. Again, if you have any additional questions about this juicer, any specific things you wanna know about it, go ahead and comment below and I'll get back to you with some answers as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.